I had a little idea and we're going to test it out today. So this right here is the Soraya Tech Blue Resin. Uh, it's not actually a blue color. It originally came in a blue color, but this one is a clear. And what we're going to try and do is dye it. And to dye it, we're going to use these. These are cheap little dyes I bought off of eBay. Uh, if this works, the link will be in the description. It was about 11 bucks for 13 dyes. Let's see if we can make the resin a different color and actually print with it. Okay, let's pick out one. I already have a red. I already have green. Um, the Soraya blue already comes in blue. Let's do hot pink or orange. That pink looks pretty cool. We'll try that pink. That pink looks cool. After rinsing an alcohol bath and some curing, this is what we ended up getting. It looks pretty darn good. It looks pretty darn pink. This was the, uh, the colorant we used. It's a little bit darker, but it looks good. It's nice and translucent. Considering that the resin normally looks like that, it really has changed. Now this one right here was printed with the uh, with the resin that came with the printer. It's an any cubic green. You can tell it's a little bit darker than the pink is. So we're going to try and make a part that's actually about that dark and see if that'll work too. It's something not as light. Okay, and we'll do green so we can test it against the other part. So let's mix up our resin. The green guy is done. And it is pretty darn dark. Look, uh, it may be a different color green than this is but it's just as dark of a green. That turned out really, really good. There's the two figures we made. Okay, so the last thing we want to try is what are we going to do with this the leftover resin when it's done? I have a little bit of pink left over and I have a little bit of green left over. Well, what I did is I poured them into the same bucket and created kind of a Franken color. You can't really see the pink anymore. You kind of see it a little bit in there. Oh, there we go. There's some pink. It's all mixing in. And let's see how dark we can get this by actually adding black. Pull out the... Just to give you an idea how much I actually like these dyes now, I printed off a little tray for it. That way it can sit next to my printer and always be there. Okay, we'll go a little black this time. Whew. Now that is black. It'll be interesting to see if this actually prints with how dark it is. Because that is black, black. Get a really good stir on this. Can't really tell on camera, but it has a tinge of green to it. Especially when it gets thin. You can kind of see it around the sides. Let's see. It looks like a oil, like a black oil. It's been in a car for too long. Okay, that is mixed. Let's put that in the machine. All right, success. There it is, the black one. So that is the mix of the two colors and added black, and it came out just as good as the others. The only difference in this model is I re-sliced it and add new supports, so that way the bottom wouldn't come out crooked. But the model came out pretty much perfect. Okay, so there's leftover resin, 
And with it, I'm just going to pour it into an old bottle and we'll save it for later. That way we don't have to waste any of this resin. Okay, so the last test I want to do is with a different type of resin. This is Elegoo ABS-like translucent. And the reason that I ordered this is as I was making this video, this stuff is now out of stock. Uh, emailed the, I emailed the company and they said we'd be back in stock in mid-November. But, uh, I mean, that just means they're going to have low supply sometimes. So I got to figure out if this is any good too. So we'll try a little bit of this and see what color we can mix up and just do one color with it. This stuff feels completely different than the Soraya Tech too. Uh, this stuff's actually pretty thin. Where the Soraya Tech is a very, very thick resin. I've never tried this stuff before. I've tried the original, but not the ABS-like. Okay, color-wise, let's try like a, a nice deep orange. So, the, uh, the black resin is the only thing I'm thinking about I actually have to measure. Because that turns so black, I don't want to overuse it and waste uh, dyes. But this right here seems to all be from how it's going to end up looking and when you do it on the spoon. So the black one is the only one I really need to test now to see how many drops per ounce I could actually use. Or per milliliter. Okay, that's actually pretty orange when it's thin. Okay. Let's try this one inside the, uh, the machine and see how this one comes out. Okay, and the last one, it's another success. Look at that, that one turned out pretty good. This was that, uh, the ABS-like resin from Elegoo. This is the nice cheap stuff. Turned out really, really nice. And I just took the leftover and uh, poured it back in my mix bottle that I had that black in. Now the last thing I wanna try is what happens if we don't use these? And we use this. This is RIT. This is an all-purpose dye. It's mostly used for clothing. Let's see if we can use it with UV resin. Whew. That stuff is dark. That stuff is a lot darker than this other resin. Okay, let's give this a shot. Okay. I'd give that a resounding no. I don't know how you can how well you can see it on camera, but it didn't actually dissolve into the resin. It just stayed like particles, kind of floating there. I don't think that's actually going to be in the resin. You know what, we'll do a little test. I'll have it sit here before we throw it into the uh, the printer and see if it separates after an hour or two. Okay, so after letting it sit for about an hour, it doesn't look like it's separated at all, but there is all this like sediment at the bottom. Let's see, I don't know how well you can see that. So what we're gonna do is uh, strain it and then we'll try printing it. Okay, that got a lot of it out. There's still some in there, but got most of it out. Let's try and get as much resin in there as we can. Okay, let's try this. Okay, there's the last one after being cured, washed, dried, cured. It is a really nice orange. Here, this is the uh, orange that I used from the resin coloring, and this is from the uh, the clothes dye. Boy, that looks really, really good, and there was no problems printing. Even that little sediment that was left in the bottom wasn't a problem. So it looks like RIT is a very, very good choice to color your resins. Uh, I'm still happy with this though. This will be good for uh, for small amounts, and then if there's anything I need to do in a large amount, 
I can buy this stuff right here. It's pretty cheap. So there they all are. They work. So dyeing the UV resin turned out a heck of a lot better than I thought it was going to. The light pink turned out all the way up to the dark black and everywhere in between. These little dyes really worked well. Um, I would definitely recommend them. The Rip dye, it's a nice, nice deep color. Uh, I don't know if I would use it again. Because all that sediment down at the bottom, I couldn't pour it back into my mix container. I didn't want that sediment to sit there and have problems with printing later on. So if you liked the video, make sure to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys again soon.